fun. It had been six years since Villanova had beaten a football goal subdivision team. For the second straight year, the Wildcats refused to go down without a fight. Quarterback, John Robertson fumbled a snap on fourth and inches at the Connecticut 36-yard line midway through the fourth quarter, and the Huskies turned it into an insurance touchdown and beat the Wildcats 20-15 in the season opener Thursday night at Rensselaer Field. Robertson bounced back by leading the Wildcats to a touchdown with 1 minute, 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter, scoring on a 3-yard run to cap a 54-yard drive. But UConn ran out the clock. We came in trying to win the game. There are no moral victories, Robertson said. On offense, I don't think we played as well as we should have. Our defense played really well. Our offense has to pick it up. The senior quarterback was 17 of 32 for 153 yards, one touchdown and one interception. He also ran the ball 18 times for 66 yards. Villanova has not beaten an FBS team since it scored a 27-24 win over city rival Temple in 2009. Mainline football fans also remember last year's 27-26 double overtime loss at Syracuse. What you're hoping to do is get an FBS team into the fourth quarter and all of a sudden have them go, hey, we could lose this game, Villanova coach Andy Talley said. I think that's where we had UConn. Sometimes they break down and sometimes we break down. Unfortunately, we broke down. The Wildcats led by 9-6 at halftime thanks to a 13-yard touchdown pass from Robertson to Matt Gudzik with 136 left in the second. UConn went 75 yards in four plays to open the second half and scored on Ron Johnson's one-yard run. The key play of the drive was a 69-yard pass and run from Bryant Sheriffs to tight end Tommy Myers. Robertson engineered a drive from his 20-yard line into UConn territory. Twice he converted on key third-down plays, but on fourth and inches, he couldn't handle the snap from center Kyle Wallace and fumbled. UConn scored on a 22-yard touchdown pass from Bryant Sheriffs to reserve running back Archiel Newsom. The Wildcats lost starting running back Gary Underwood in the third quarter with what was described as a chest injury. Villanova fell behind, 6-0, after one quarter. The Wildcats got on the board with a safety midway through the first quarter when UConn's Andreas Knapp was called for holding in the end zone.